everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sonia and I would really love it if you could subscribe. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video to what I've done on my channel. And we're going to be doing like a dupe comparison video on a primer that I have recently got in my collection against one that is a bit more higher end. And I thought, let's see if they're actually kind of similar, the same, or one might even be better than the other. Fingers crossed it's the cheaper one because we all like a good deal. So then we're going to talk about the two primers, then I'm going to put them one on one side, one on the other side, and then we'll take it over to the window so I can actually show you properly up close what it looks like. I've also got my laptop here because I'm going to talk a little bit about the products, so let's just get into it shall we? So the first product we're going to be talking about is the higher end product and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I've had this in my collection for a couple of months and it is a nice product and um, I do think it's a little bit drying but it does give a nice glow to the skin. So talking about this Charlotte Tilbury one, this retails for £34 so it, to me that's quite pricey for a primer but it does have 4.7 stars out of 5 and it has 319 reviews on Charlotte Tilbury. This has 7 shades um, ranging from fair to dark so I mean is that really a good a good shade range? I'm not sure and it, this is it's a more of a multi-purpose one so you can use it um, as an all over primer which is what I use it as but you can also just use it to highlight like the tops of your cheeks and um, stuff like that. It's a complexion booster with the versatility of a primer, the mega glow of a highlighter and the perfecting properties of your favourite digital filter. So ingredients help to soft focus, illuminate skin and make lines and pores appear smoother. So it has some quite bold statements but we're going to put this on one side of my face. And the kind of comparison one and the cheaper version is the L'Oreal Glow Cherie. Now I've only had this since last month and I have used it a couple of times and that's why I thought this uh, this may actually be quite similar to this. So let's talk a little bit about this one. So I did pick this up in Superdrug so it is like a high street drugstore but you can get it in like Boots or everywhere else in the UK and this is worth $9.99. The bad thing about this though, every website I've looked at, it only seems to have three shades and I don't know whether it doesn't say like the shade because on here it says like two, three and four whereas this one on here it just says light glow so I'm not really sure on that um, and I hope they do have more shade ranges than that because I, don't, I have a feeling that's not going to cover kind of all skin tones but I would say it's about 4.7 out of 5 and this has 70 reviews but I feel like this one is a bit newer to the market than this one so we'll see. And this one is a glow enhancer. Whether you want to rejuvenate your skin or create a flawless glowing look you'll be ready to glow in no time. Use fingertips to blend the light formula into the skin for illuminating base to your makeup. Apply to areas as required for a flawless finish. You can blend it in with your foundation, apply as a, highlight, a highlighter. So to me they're both similar in the way that they can be used. So that's why I thought this might actually be quite a good video and seeing whether it holds up the same and how it looks. So should we just get into it because my face really needs some makeup. You know, you're so lucky that you get to see me like this. <laughs> but let's just get into it shall we. So I've already primed my skin with my skincare, moisturiser, etc. So what I'm going to do, I have a mirror here, so I'm going to try and look at you, but I also need to kind of see what I'm doing here as well. So I'm going to put this Charlotte Tilbury one on the left side of my face, which will be the right side to you. So I just want to quickly show you what it looks like. So this one has like a doe foot applicator. Um, the only problem that I think with this, which I've also seen like Jessica Braun and people talk about, is that you're never really going to be able to get everything out of this and also you can't really see how much you have left so I pretty much just apply it all over the face 
like I said, we're only going to do one side. I just find this actually, like I said before, I find it quite drying. Um, but that's just me. So I usually put about this amount on. Now, I just want to say before I start doing like everything, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm never claimed to be good at makeup. I just really enjoy makeup. And I am going to use my hands to blend this out. So it does have like more of a golden glow to it. Um, so if you're not really kind of into that, I would say this isn't really for you. Like I said, I have really dry skin. So this feels quite drying actually on the skin. It gives a really nice glow. So if I just come a little bit closer, hopefully you're going to be able to see. But this one side, this side here, is hopefully looking a little bit more dewier and brighter than this side. It looks like that way in real life, but whether it looks like that on the camera, I'm not sure. But it has given a really beautiful sheen, like it, you know, a glow to your face, it looks really nice. So this is nice, but is this going to perform better? Because at the minute I'm really into my glowy bases, um, and this one gives a nice glow base, but... And also looking here, like I feel like it's minim it hasn't really overly minimised my pores, like I'm looking here. Actually it has a little bit to be fair. When I get up close you'll be able to see kind of how it looks. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to be here. Yeah. But I have quite big pores, so I think it has minimised them a little bit. Now we're going to go in with this one on my right side. Now I don't put a lot on, I actually might have put too much on there, but I usually put about this much on. Now I'm obviously only doing one side of my face. Okay, one thing to note, this one, the L'Oreal one, smells a lot better. Um, but it does have a fragrance to it, so if you're sensitive to that, I would say this most probably isn't the best primer to use or glow enhancer. Kind of blend them both together because I don't want it to look too weird. Okay. So that is on both sides of my face. Now I've got the Charlotte Tilbury one on this side, I've got the L'Oreal one on this side. First, like I said, first off, this one smells better than the L'Oreal one. But, and I feel, I feel like it applied a little bit nicer than the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like I said, this one I felt like was quite drying when I put it on my skin. I always feel like that though, which is why usually I always put on like a hydrating primer on top. Whether you're meant to do that or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, we're not going to do that for the purpose of this video. We really want to just see how these both perform. A little bit closer again. Like I said, I'm going to go over to the window so you can properly see. But I feel like they look the same. Like I actually, when I'm looking here, I don't feel like one of them's like darker than the other. I feel like they both look the same. I want to say this side just looks a little bit more glowy. Just a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foundation on top. I'm not going to do a really heavy makeup look today. I'm going to go over to the window now just so you can see what it looks like. Then I'm going to put makeup on and then I'll take you back over to the window and we're going to do frequent checks throughout the day. Um, I think I'm going to do one after I finish work and then one before I take my makeup off just so you can see what it looks like. I'm in my bathroom right now so that might be why it's a bit more echoey but I want to try and bring you a little bit closer just so you can kind of see what my face looks like um, in daylight. So I'm just going to bring you a little bit closer here, just so you can kind of see my face. Um, so this side that I'm showing you now is the one that has the Charlotte Tilbury one on. And then this side here is the one with the L'Oreal one on. I think they kind of both look similar, to be honest. I don't think there's a massive difference between them. But I want to see kind of how they wear over make uh, under makeup and like I said we'll report throughout the day. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is like I said, I'm going to go and finish off the rest of my makeup then it'll be another check-in like this around five o'clock and then it'll most probably be around nine o'clock that I'll do the last one. So I'll see you in a bit guys. Okay everyone so I now have the makeup on my face as you can see um, and to be honest I'm looking at this and I can see no difference between them. They both look the exact same, but like I said, I have only just applied the makeup. So we shall see in the next um, check-in what it looks like. Um, usually by around that time, my makeup starts to come off a little bit. Um, but I have only put my makeup on, I think it's about quarter to one now. No, quarter to two, sorry. So it's a bit later because obviously I need to film this video. So yeah, this is kind of what we look like right now.
Okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm in a different location again, but we're going to do my update. So, so the time is 10 past five, and I've just finished work. And I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of an update on my face. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. So if I just come up a little bit closer. And then we have the L'Oreal side here. And um, honestly, all day I've kind of just been having a look just to check and see. And I can't even see that much of a difference. In the sense of like I think it looked like the same primer. I even asked my sister um, and I didn't tell her what video I was doing um, and she said she couldn't even tell that I was wearing a different primer on each one so to me that's it. It's all it says I think the Charlotte Tilbury side is just a smidge little bit um, glowier but not enough for me to warrant to say that this one's better than the L'Oreal one. So at the minute I think L'Oreal is winning but for L'Oreal's winning for like um being cheaper and also kind of looks the same so we will see um I will come back at the end of the day um to see kind of what I think but overall I like I like them both but I think the L'Oreal one is definitely a dupe for this hello everyone so this is my last check-in um I am about to take this off get in the shower but I just wanted to kind of give you a last little review of the primer on my face. So like I said, this side was the Charlotte Tilbury side and this side was the L'Oreal side. And honestly, when I look, and honestly, I think it looks pretty much the same. This side, which is Charlotte Tilbury side, I do feel like has lasted just a little bit longer and looks a little bit better, but not, on, not enough where I think that it would be, this L'Oreal side isn't worth the price. Um, so if you are obviously on a budget, the L'Oreal side for, which is 9 99 is pretty much, I would say, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury side, which is £34. Pound. But I do think that it, it is still nice to have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I would say that the L'Oreal one is a winner because, like I said, it's pretty much held up the exact same. Overall, L'Oreal side is the winner for me because it's pretty much the exact same, it's cheaper and it's also more accessible. You can go into the town centres for example and get them. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would really love it if you could subscribe. And until next time, see you later everyone.